All right, here's what you have to consider, uh, you know, <laughs> why I'm saying the Earth is alive. Study up on layered intrusions. Layered means obviously there's layers in them, just like the kind of rocks that you're going to see or you've seen in the uh, Martian samples and my samples. Uh, and they, they're gray and white stripes. They have red stripes in them too here and there, which is the blood. They're intrusions. They're not supposed to be where they are, and they are enormous. I'm not talking little. I'm talking about miles and miles and miles. And <laughs> I don't know. The Earth, remember this phrase, giants in the Earth, not dead giants in the Earth, giants buried in the Earth, giants on the Earth, giants living under the Earth, giants in the Earth. Just think about that. Now, mineralized zones. So, in other words, let's get back to intrusions. They're not supposed to be there, intrusions. Mineralized zones. Why? And inside of these intrusions, there's all kinds of different, uh, different um, materials. And there, there are different metals, and there's different, all kinds of stuff. And they're mineralized. So, there's all kinds of different areas. And the reason is, is because human life, or life of any type, concentrates chemicals in certain areas and like your your bones is calcium in your blood there's iron uh, and, and I found all these chemicals in all of my different things and I've tested them all and I, it is what it is that life is the earth if you really follow it through the earth is alive from the bottom to the top it has to be and I'll, I'll make that case later but you can't get the kind of things that are deep 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 in the earth without life have been been there they don't drift down there they come up from there so I, I've got a whole nother story about that but anyway let's get back to this the mineralized zones we know that, and that's where they find gold, that's where, and that's what, what happens, it's, it's, it's what happens from life, it concentrates these things. And I know this for a fact, I have those things that I can show you. Chromatite, I will show you that, that is, well here it is, this right here is fascia. If you ask, a, 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 and that's a lung, that's a, that's a, a modern lung, you know, but I mean it's not modern, it's ancient, but it's it's architecturally uh, modern. Now, that is fascia. And what they will sell you, anybody that's a geologist that's too smart to believe that, is going to tell you that that is nothing more than chromatite. And it all got together by itself like that in that fabric, almost like burlap. And in the ancient times, they called that fascia tunica. <laughs> just like a robe covering you, and to a geologist though, that's nothing. That is absolutely nothing more than chromatite. And they're flocculated together, they just did that by themselves and or found each other. No, absolutely not. Now, garnets. Why garnets? Why are garnets in all these places? Garnets are blood. <laughs> They're bodily fluids, and the real, real, real red ones are really cr very close to the source of, of the intense uh, blood and the, the whiter ones and all oh, they have co garnets come in every single color there is and garnet is a product of bodily fluids the red ones are the real blood ones all right now and i and i i can show you that too i have a video about that it's called little finger and it shows the garnets spewing from a finger and now they're crystallized into garnets and i will show that it's called little finger now causeway of the giants <laughs> That's not a causeway. Those are giants. <laughs> that was a giant. And the anatomy of that is identical to the anatomy of the human body. And, the and, and, and both of those things that I just said are identical to what they call the foliations of the earth. And the foliations of the earth are what the earth is made out of. And the earth is made out of life. Case closed as far as I'm concerned. It's the same anatomy as the body, and the same anatomy as the whole Earth. I'm going to show you the proof of this. Alright, look at this carefully. These are the patterns of the Earth. These are the patterns that they find in the Earth, and they come up with some... I don't know how they figured this out, how these came up with other than life, because these are the identical patterns of life, and you're going to see them in a second. You see those? You remember the foliations of the earth? You know the things that we're just looking at right now? Look at this carefully because they are the identical 
same patterns that you're seeing muscles and cardiac and everything I was talking about blood supply before you see that brown thing that's the blood supply you see all that other stuff that's muscle fiber <laughs> I'm telling you bizarre but true if you think the earth just squirted that out by itself you got another thing coming you look at some of the vascularization in the human body it's identical not close identical all right well you saw the architecture of the uh, giant's causeway and i don't see a whole, whole, whole lot of difference here this all right everybody's always looking for a smoking gun well this is a smoker right here buddy coming out of there and i will show you why i say this coming out of there is blood and that is where apparently the bone was being supplied i don't know what kind of bone it was it might have fractured and this is worn away but this right here is the emanations of blood and these fractures right in here I don't know if you can see them in that video but those are the same kind of fractures as we get in these things now this here I don't know if I think I painted that it could so don't worry about that but I have another one to show you with the blood now you see <laughs> that's the skin and that's the tunica and that's the tunica underneath inside there is going to be the same stuff All right, this is another giant fingertip of some, or phalanges of something. I don't know what. It's about, oh, I don't know, 15, 16, 18 inches long, something like that. Now, you see here, that's where I start showing you the giant's causeway bone with the kids sitting on. That right there is the same stuff, I can almost guarantee you. And it can easily be tested. All this stuff is so simple to test, and it's being overlooked, and it's really killing me. All right, the... the Giants Causeway and all the evidence that we have for giants around the world, the, the lithification of all of these, at which I have a batch of it, and it is, it's all over the place. It's just being ignored because it's too spectacular to acknowledge, you know. And if you acknowledge it and you're an academic, you're dead. <laughs> you are thrown from the academic nest, and no matter how strong your little wings are, buddy, you would never get back. So I do understand you, but I just don't like it. you got to pay attention to this, and it's because of the research bullies. They're the ones, ooh, ooh, look at him, yada, 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 and then you're done. And then everybody else sees you're done. They don't want to be done. they got to pay their bills. they got families. I understand all this, but you, see, you guys got to, you know, you do have an, a, a, a fiduciary duty to your students to look into things that are contradicting you what you're teaching. And, and it's a legal obligation, guys. And you're going to have to give these people back their money if you don't start paying attention.